Hello, hello. So just a quick update here. Um, here is what I have so far. So what I've done is I've extended it across, made that flat and tilted um, right in there so I can get not one but two of these LEDs. Um, this is with the 60 LED per meter strip. Um, I originally designed it angled as you can see that they're all shining at the bottom here. Um, made it so that we could get in um, these three here but unfortunately my soldering skills suck as well as my cutting skills so I wasn't able to um, repeatedly get wires attached to those three small contact points so I uh, wimped out and I went for just two instead just to make it easier for me to solder because I suck but uh, anyways um, there is that frame um, so the second version that he made is going to change the routing to exactly how I have it in here because I noticed that uh, it doesn't make much sense to have that one loop around and go back and then just have the wire over there for some reason. So instead, the wire will be here, 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 back here, and then we'll exit out of the inside here and then go underneath in the same pattern as before. Um, and the other thing that I'm working on is a drop-in. Goodness gracious, this thing is having a hard time focusing. It's the glass underneath. Um, anyways... Um, you know, we'll move it over here so it has a much better surface here. So, anyways, um, this is the topper plate for it. Focus. That has an inset, so we can take, you know, frosted acrylic or however you want it. Um, this acrylic here, I'll just kind of give you an example of what it's doing. Kind of spreading it out um, from where it is here but anyways this acrylic was just hand cut it's about a tenth of an inch thick um, since that's what the local store had all it does is it drops into place inside here sorry it's focusing on the back um, so it just drops in there so basically the entire glass portion is shown and there aren't any gaps or anything because, well, hand cutting stuff, I don't have a scroll saw, so it's literally me and a Dremel, um, which is pretty hard. But anyways, um, it does a pretty decent job diffusing, um, better than the 3D printed one I had so far anyways, um, and especially because it lets a, a good amount of light through, just to kind of show that off, I'll turn off the lights. So it's a pretty good amount of glow here. Um, kind of um, not not too terribly happy with how much shows through the back. Um, might have to do some changes there because uh, I think I'm losing quite a bit. Um, that might be solved, however, by um, that might be solved by not having the LEDs pointing so aggressively down. Um, since I'll have more room to play on the tilt. Here, let me put it back up. <laughs> Sorry, looking for the lights in the dark. There we go. Um, but yeah, so the reason I designed it like this instead of having it as an integrated piece um, was that for people who don't want to take the time or effort or maybe the acrylic isn't really the way to go. Maybe it's um, some of some clear PLA or PETG or whatever you want like on, on this unit here. I know you can't see it very well, but... Um, Maybe that's the that's the solution is to get some of that installed. So, um, anyways, I, I wanted to make it so that people have an option. It doesn't add to the thickness too terribly much. All I did was I raised it by a tenth of an inch, like I said, and just added in this uh, the small um, recess for this uh, to fit in, and and away you go. So there's my update for. Uh, from yesterday actually and tonight I'm going to be working on a couple things um, one I'm going to take version 2 or make my own version 2 just for quick um, quick use of, of this here and make a similar design except less angled I'll try to match the angle with this um, incline here to see if we can get the you know the most optimal bounce back up um, in addition I'm going to be trying a, a different um, method of making this frosty so uh, a friend of mine suggested that I sand it 
And then in uh, for the last thing that I'm going to try to do is basically cut out all of this, see if I can lay the LEDs flat so they shine straight up, but have it yet covered by um, covered by here, and then see if I can get it to uh, bounce in and have like a, a backer plate that it bounces against, like fiber optics. So instead of shining out and then sh reflecting off of it here and then going up, it'll go completely into the glass and diffuse upwards like this, except with a shiny, with a reflective spot on the underside, I'm hoping that a light pipe all the way through. But that is kind of the plan here um, with this. And uh, in later updates, I may do a, um, a tour, small tour of my shop here. And by shop, I mean uh, Rigidbot 1, small guy, which will hopefully move over soon to be with Rigidbot 2, bottom guy, and then um, one of my favorite YouTubers is AVE, and I'd say the Empire of Dirt, but uh, it's more like the uh, Empire of Junk, or more the... <laughs> it's horrible, so peace.